I understand that it's not always fair to revel in the failures and, and uh, of others, schadenfreude or schadenfraud or whatever. The, there's names for it. But it was nice to see over the weekend the world reach out to each other, grab hands, and all share a hearty laugh as one of the most insufferable people in sports, Reg Megan Rapinoe, missed a wide-open penalty kick leading to the elimination of the U.S. women's national team. The team that was happy to kneel during the anthem and um, talk about how terrible the country was and refuse to go to the White House. Look, these are all things, by the way, oftentimes when I criticize them, people will say, yeah, but First Amendment rights, you have to allow that. I 1,000% agree. They're allowed to kneel during the national anthem. They're allowed to refuse the White House visit. They're allowed to pretend like the United States isn't a great nation. That's their right as an American, and I at no point think that they should not be allowed to do those things. I, however, am allowed to have my reaction to that. And I think if you're literally playing for the United States team, representing the United States on the world stage, it is an absolute embarrassment to have team members that, that uh, make it more about them than their country. And I think that Megan Rapinoe might be easily the most annoying, entitled brat in all of sports. And Sunday, the 38-year-old over-the-hill uh, soccer player on a team that only had her position on that team because of politics reasons, I refuse to believe that they're a woman going on 40 in a sport like soccer, that there was no somebody in their 20s that was as good as them out there, uh, missed a wide-open penalty kick, and was eliminated. Make sure you leave a like on the video. <clears throat> By the way, if you haven't yet, also please do subscribe to the channel. It's getting harder to uh, reach you all out there. And so it really helps a ton. Also quick, uh, I, I've, you've probably already seen me mention it, but I'm going to hit it hard today because we're going to sell out quick. Coffee Brand Coffee is doing our huge, huge summer bundle sale. You can get our, our candy and nut bundle our, uh, our top three flavors of the summer, orange cream, skills, strawberries and cream, blackberry and cream bundles, all these things up to nearly 50% off while supplies last. We have our tea bundle. People sleep on our teas. They're very, very good. We even have our K cups on sale and our merch and our cold brews. Now's the time to give our product a try. I just know you'll love it. We have over 5,000 five-star reviews and I just know you'll love it. I hope that you'll give it a try today. Megan Rapinoe, slammed by USA fans for laughing after missing a crucial penalty kick in World Cup against Sweden before crying on the field as her team was eliminated. Angry US soccer fans rounded on Megan Rapinoe for laughing after she missed a crucial penalty kick. Not just her, the fourth and fifth person both choked. Either one of them could have made it and they would have survived the round. I believe the U.S. women's national team have sco scored a total of zero goals in the last two games, or maybe one. Uh, it meant Rapinoe, <coughs> 38, who had been who played her last World Cup game for the United States. Hey, happy to hear it. She was crying on the field with her devastated teammates. Maybe they should have spent more time practicing penalty kicks and less time practicing kneeling and not singing the national anthem. After Sweden won, but it was her immediate reaction to her own penalty miss that left many fans with little sympathy. She took the USA's fourth penalty in the shootout to give the team a 4-2 lead in the shootout and blazed her, high, her, sh her shot high over the crossbar. But as she jogged back to the halfway line, she was met uh, much of the confusion of fans watching back home, smirking and laughing to herself. I don't see what's funny about this. One fan wrote in Twitter response, the laughing shows how much the team took this as a joke. So much for being a role model for the rest of the team. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it only in women's soccer, by the way, I can't name another sport. Have I seen people suffer crushing defeats and then be high-fiving and laughing and hugging each other after it? Could you imagine that after a Super Bowl? Like the losing team in the Super Bowl, the NFL is just high-fiving each other and laughing and yucking it up. That doesn't happen. And what's, what's, you know, even better, here's like, she's so arrogant, like doesn't even look at this fan who's asking for an autograph. Look at this. Oh, I'm talking to other celebrities. Ten, nine. Never even looked at him. I mean, she did sign the ball, which is something, you know.
that is something. Now I'd like to I'd like to show you this clip, but FIFA World Cup is claiming it everywhere. Like literally. I can't I can't show you the miss. Megan Rapinoe's penalty miss celebrated by conservatives. So glad. I don't think it's just conservatives. Megan Rapinoe reveals why she was laughing after the penalty. I mean, I don't know what's funny about that. FIFA claimed my video. Um, full of emotion after the whistle. Like if you look at, you know, just the, you look at this clip, she's smiling, you know, laughing. She's tearing up a little bit. I get the moment. She knows that she's out, you know. Look at the smiles. Bro, you blew it. You went out on the bottom. There's nothing. This is, of course, it's all about Megan Rapinoe. It's all about her smiling and laughing and joking. I mean, it's pathetic. There's not another sport on the planet I could ever imagine seeing this. After getting the boot from uh, the World Cup, Megan Rapinoe was asked what her favorite many memory was. Her favorite memory of soccer, and you know, U.S. Women's National Team. Was it World Cup wins? What was it? You know, I'm sure it's a great, I'm sure it's a great message. What was her favorite record, her favorite memory about playing soccer for the United States? Is there a memory that stands out to you right now in this moment? Oh, um, I mean, probably equal pay chance. Money. What stands out to you? What stands out to you most about your career as a as representing the United States? Money. If you didn't know, the U.S. Women's National Team sells tens of tickets, um, while the men's team will send will sell will sell a hundred thousand. Um, and for some reason, these brainlets thought that they deserve the same amount of money. It's just like the WNBA, which has never made money in the history of the league. And their players demanding million dollar salaries like their NBA because reasons. The average attendance at the a WNBA game is somewhere between 12 and 17 fans. Women's soccer has fans. I've met them in real life. They exist. But they don't pay to see the games. They don't travel to see the team in any kind of real numbers. But the number one thing that Megan Rapinoe remembers about playing soccer is money. Gotta have money. I'd say I remember the last kick I ever did in a game blowing it for my team. I'd say that's probably what I, she will actually remember the most. Megan Rapinoe may never live this one down. With Sweden and the U.S. Women's National Team scoreless through 90 minutes and extra time, pathetic, Rapinoe had a chance to help send the United States to the World Cup quarterfinals when her turn arrived to take the penalty kick. But Rapinoe, who had been substituted in for Alex Morgan in the 99th minute, missed a penalty kick in brutal fashion, sending it straight over the net. Didn't even hit the goal. She missed the entire goal. Now, being a leftist, she probably was used to or was, was thinking that the goalpost would just move. She's probably used to that. Rapinoe laughed and smirked in the aftermath of her miss her head down in bewilderment as she watched Sweden come back to stun the United States in penalty kicks and eliminate the women's national team before they even made the semifinals. That's a sick joke. I've never hit it over. When I miss, they are saved. That's why I had the smile on my face. I'm like, you've got to be effing kidding me. I'm going to miss a penalty. Honestly, I can't remember the last time that happened. Well, you were probably thinking about your media tour after you heroically send the women's team to the national the quarterfinals and you missed. Now, look, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like many uh, conservative pundits that anyone could have just made that kick. That's absurd. But this is some, Megan Rapinoe, is, if she's on this roster, she's one of the best 12 female soccer players in the entire country. And she didn't even hit the goal. She missed the entire goal. Didn't get saved. Fired it five feet over the, over the top goal post. Now, I'm not going to dunk on her for smiling because I get it. In that moment, you're like, oh, my God. I've been there. I played sports. If you played sports, you've been there. You know, there's been times like when I played baseball in my youth, you know, bases loaded, 
down by one, swinging a bad pitch, strike out or pop up. The very first thing I, you do is like, oh, God, you like, you maybe you let out a like a, a little curse word or you say something. That's not actually how you feel about it. Now Rapinoe's story career ends on a brutal note. The women's national team retires <clears throat> with two World Cup titles in 15 and 19, the Golden Ball and Golden Boot Awards in 2019, and an Olympic gold medal in 2012. Rapino, who ended, uh, announced prior to the World Cup that she would retire, said that UNOS women is, women's national team advocacy and social issues may be what she cherishes most about the team. Not winning. Of course, Trump dunked on her too. Trump taunts defeated U.S. women's national team. Trump said the team's flame out is fully emblematic of what's happening to the our once great nation. 100% agree with that, by the way. 100% agree with that. Many of our players are openly hostile to America. No other country behaved in such manner. That's true. Or even close. Woke equals failure. Nice shot, Megan. The USA is going to heck. Mega, he wrote. I 100% agree with him. Our athletes are more concerned with social issues and representing our country and being good at the sport. I mean, that's just the truth of it. You know, and uh, that I can't say that for every single player on the team. I'm sure that there are a lot of players on this team that were crushed by the defeat. I bet you there were a lot of players on the team that didn't want Megan on it. I mean, you're talking about playing the best of the best of the best of the best, and you have a 40-year-old out there. It's not like a place kicker in football where your only job is to kick the ball unimpeded. You're running. You need peak cardio. You need, I mean, there's not a lot of sports where somebody who's 40 years old is out competing anyone in their 20s. You know, I think that there's, it, it's, you see, in honor of Megan Rapinoe choking, Megan Kelly has some choice. Megan Rapino, I guess is how it's pronounced. Pino. She comes out and she says, it's not happening. Men aren't winning these competitions. Now, Megan, that gets to me even. Made millions of dollars off of us, the American people, out on that soccer field. She didn't have to compete against biological men. She She's also a big fan of letting biological men uh, dominate female sports. So a disgraceful end for what is a disgraceful personality. I couldn't be happier. Make sure you get your coffee brand coffee bundle sale link in the description before we run out. Supplies limited uh, that are going to be on sale. So pick yours up today. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.